Hello everyone, and welcome to my world. I am the Just Cow, and this is how I play D&D. &D. And with that, let's go ahead and get to it and introduce our players. I got Cathbris, Vince Crow, D Crazy Cat Lady, and Buzzcat with me. Uh, we will start soon. I just wanna wanted to welcome y'all in and say thank you for joining us unadulterated essence of skunk yes that's a perfect line to come in on. <laughs> I guess it on i guess it depends on what fairies eat i mean huh? skunk obviously <laughs> skunk but <laughs> welcome everybody feel free to introduce yourselves in order according to alphabet buzzcat i am pre i'm a two foot tall kobold <laughs> and he will mess you up. He sure will. Tell you to do things, and you'll have to do them. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, D crazy cat lady. Hello, she... darling. I'm Cecilia, and I'm here for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Cathars. What's up? <laughs> 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 it's a perfect intro, and Vince Crow. <laughs> Hello, I am Woodrow Fapplehide. I am a deep gnome, and I am Miss Cecilia's personal thole still a snatcher. That sounds like I'm doing something dirty. How do you? How would I? I don't know. I'm just I here. Mean, I, 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 find I find it quite amusing on how you explained it. Yeah, yeah. Old man with a meat in his mouth. Yeah, that's funny. Crete, how did you come to Bovi, the town you're currently in? I walk on my feet. On I your walk. feet? <laughs> Cecilia? Oh, I own a lovely little shop called The Cures and Curses. Cathbris? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Bovine? <laughs> and, uh, now, now I've, got, I've, got, I've got D's accent in my head now. And it's, 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 it's living there right there. Like somebody's fucking accent is i gotta figure out where my place is again i am uh sir sir, sir oxen bovine no that's not right yeah sir bovine longhorn of oxen there we go there you go <laughs> um i am a noble from the great red dragon kid uh it's, it's descended from the great uh zinda um and i've come forth to find my way and to regain the the power that the red dragon can had at one point uh, and uh rekindle the the power but hold on is that a brothel i'll be right back you you go to a brothel that just happens to be in bovi called the the moist panty Shh, i'm talking to the ladies <laughs> I had video recording of what you were doing, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and finally, Vince, uh, how did you come to be in Bovi? Well, it started so long ago. Uh, I was fighting a beholder, right? And for some reason, I looked down and got the shock of my life. I thought my back blew out for a second. <laughs> then I saw Cecilia and I said, hey. Need a little bit of help, a little later. And next thing I knew, I woke up and I was still in stoles, and I'm here with her. So let's show you the city of Bovi. All right. As soon as Google decides to open, one second. <laughs> Ma'am. Oh. This is Bovi. Uh, your uh, the population is one or uh, eleven thousand. Three hundred, uh, mixed with halfling and human and gnome. Five platforms of two-story tree buildings rest upon motley assembled, a, a motley assembly of tracked foundation. It is governed by a council of women known as the Jade House. Many of its residents wear a sun-like amulet as a local fashion. Uh, if you want to know more, go ahead and roll a history check, and we'll go ahead and get started. I had to close Google. One second. 
Nope. Sir don't Bovine, care. you don't know much, but you know where that brothel is. <laughs> of course I do. Nailed it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, she knows where the brothel is, too. She knows where everyone is. Uh, everyone. I'm in the <laughs> Cecilia, you would get it at advantage <laughs> since you've been here 16 years. Nailed it. No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's... A, she, 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 you she keep to yourself. <laughs> no, you see, my thing is, is have the com or customers come to you. Don't go to them. <laughs> it makes you seem desperate. <laughs> so, just to be clear, you know that you're... Your uh, shop is in the Black Alley. Okay. Don't know why they call it that. I mean... <laughs> so it's not the Black Alley, it's the Black Alley? Yeah, it's the Black Alley. You know, like Black Street? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does it have the Black Street boys? Yeah, well, I mean, the, they were, no, it was just called... It was a band called and, Black and Street. It, 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 Ooh. In this world, it's the it's the Ba Street Boys. Okay, so uh, Woodrow, you know that the five women that uh, govern this uh, city is Annette, a tall halfling woman, and Mayor, uh, Aaron, a halfling woman, and hand to the mayor, uh, Eloise. A uh, gnome woman in charge of defense of the city. Phyllis, a human woman in charge of coin. And Jane, a heavyset gnome woman in charge of culture. Crete, you also seem to know this, even though you are, <laughs> like, new to the town. You you, you picked up things, or, or you picked up a pamphlet. I heard things. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, your god cord is in close relationship with you, and uh, yes, uh, they. They. Is there a temple of cord here? A absolutely. But uh, yeah. most people like pray to pay lore. The New Year's celebration has just begun. Uh, the city is alive with gnomes, humans, halflings, and a minority of other races feasts, feasting, drinking, and indulging in elite illicit activity. Crete, you, uh, you sit at a table with three other humanoid creatures playing a game of three dragon ante. The room is dimly lit with two doors and no windows. One of the doors you came in earlier from the back alley uh, with your friend Bertio. Uh He introduced you to Iliard and Driba and then yeah, you uh, you are in this room and you hear sounds on the other side. It sounds like a group of uh, as a large group of people uh, drinking, laughing, and having a good time. Uh, Bertio, uh is a male, kind of heavy set with auburn hair, light green eyes. He wears modest guide garments and riding boots he looks at you and says you're gonna play or what iliard I... iliard I... is a man with a tangled copper hair hazel eyes he wears modest garments and numerous rings uh he has sort of a deformed looking arm uh but he has a divine relic around his neck and Driba is the only one out of place, uh, being an elf with white hair and gray eyes. He wears well-made clothing and carries a long knife, but he's sitting there uh, playing cards with you. I incite the one that asked me if I was going to play. He's generally wondering if you're going to, like, ante up or... or just look at your cards all night. Okay, so what skill is associated with winning three dragon ante? <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, I would say, like, since this is a gambling game, we can do, like, uh, we, we, we can do, uh, yeah, a luck check. Uh, I guess I mean, that's... Insight. Does he have a good hand? <laughs> hmm. Insight would probably be the better one. Cause you're probably you're playing against other people, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, probably. Poker. Be. Three dragon ante is pretty much poker. Mm. 
So he, the seat. He, he looks at his cards and he's generally like, you see an eye, well, you rolled an inside of an 11. You see one eyebrow raise and then quickly go back down. They're all looking at you. I'm going to attempt to cheat. <laughs> oh, oh. The elf. Uh, oh, wait, 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 that would be sleight of hand, right? I, I mean. Sleight of hand is cheat. Yeah, yeah. Sleight of hand is more of a cheat than deception. I mean, yeah, that with that dis. You're, you're, you're lying. Yeah. You, you rolled a deception or a sleight of hand of seven, so. I mean, the roll would be the same. Oh, okay. I understand now. Okay, so yeah, you rolled an eight. And both both the uh both the elf and the and Bercio look at you like what are you doing? I I agree. I think this little bo kobold is trying to cheat us. Care to explain? It's all for the good of the church. Now give me your money. <laughs> And he stands uh, up on his chair. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 are about to pull out your sword, but then with that uh, perception you did earlier, you hear a large commotion happening in the bar. Uh, somebody looks in and says, "Phyllis is here! Scatter!" Everybody starts grabbing uh, for the money. You can go ahead and grab first since you're on the table. <laughs> so what? What? Dex something? No, no, just, uh, uh, let's see, uh, so there are 13 coins on the table. Uh, try to, uh, do another sleight of hand and see how much you can get. Easy. Oh shit! <laughs> Natural twenty. You grab all thirteen gold coins on the table, and yeah, you you can move out of the room if you so choose. I I make a run for it. Okay, you run out out into the alley, uh, it, through the back door, uh, and that's where we'll end your story for now. Uh, Sir Bo, uh, Sir. Or uh, no, we'll go to Cecilia Hayes. You are in your shop, watching over your potions and alchemy supplies. The shop is lit with candlelight and potions. Flasks and bottles fill the shelves. You're casually watching the scrying stone when you see hear somebody enter the shop. Hold on, let it's me... funny uh. because before somebody enters the shop, she has this perk to where um, she doesn't blink. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say casually watching potions, it's just more like... Death staring? Yeah. <laughs> no blinking, no nothing. Just... Ta -da! And as soon as someone comes in, she goes, I've got to put on the normal human mode. And like, blinks. <laughs> She walks in, and you recognize her immediately. Not that you are happy about it. Uh, Phyllis, the Council of Coin, walks in wearing green armor with a sun symbol on her chest, just like she does every year at this time. She is overly polite. See, see, darling, it's wonderful to see you. Oh. Phyllis, it blows my soul every time you walk through the front doors. How are you doing? So oh, well? charmed. Uh, look at this quaint little place. And all of these, and she like, she like, puts her finger on one of the bottles and just sort of like, uh, does that thing where, where she like, tries to flick off some dust yeah. and just like, um, so it's that time of year, I'm afraid. Uh, tax collecting time. Uh, I'm afraid this year you owe me uh, 500 gold pieces, which is obviously 50 gold pieces more than last year. 
<laughs> but Cecilia, my darling. Or Phyllis, my darling. <laughs> I are you sure it's five hundred? Because Oh, you know, I'm just kind of remembering. I mean, it. Uh, I know inflation is a bitch. I can't. I can't uh, tell you how many people have just straight up got angry with me tonight over over this. I mean, and here on the new year when we're supposed to be supporting our town with everything we have. Praise Paylor. But, uh, yes. And she, like, tries to, like, do a hand motion, but totally gets it wrong and just kind of just stops doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna need that, uh, 500 gold, please. Uh, if you want to keep your shop in business. And, of course, this is a lovely shop. I'd hate to see it go under. And I do like a history thing like is she like somebody who comes in and uses the potions she does come in often to use the potions do i know if she has like a family member whose health depends on the potions or uh i smell blackmail mm. oh fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> She does come in quite often, but she does it for personal use. Oh, mm. that's such a shame. As, like, Cecilia just kind of, like, lifts a greater healing potion and just kind of sets it on her counter and, like, just kind of, like, you know, like, say this is the potion. Like, she's just, like, such a shame that inflation happens at the most time of year when everyone needs to come together. <laughs> you know, just kind of like playing with the potion that she constantly comes in for. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. And yeah, you could do it all at advantage. Okay, so here's one. Because she does, oh, wow. <laughs> she, she looks at the potion like like with desire and she's like hmm okay um maybe maybe we could reduce the price a little bit um and look at you being so charitable oh uh, yes i i am a charitable woman and you you obviously know me so well we really need to get together more often outside oh of this potion shop I uh, but you just kind of see like mm. Cecilia's like introverted self go hit <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh please please darling um uh, I uh, how about uh 400 gold it's 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 50 less than last year I mean you can't get a better oh, deal my darling you are so kind and you know because she showed me such kind greatness. And she, like, just kind of pushes the potion forward along mm. with the 400 gold. <laughs> mm. Oh, thank you, dear. I will look forward to your patron or your services in the future. Thank you so much. And she leaves out the door. As okay. soon as the door closes, she goes, What a cunt. <laughs> uh, here's something I didn't show you yet, uh, D. Uh, this is your basement. You have a basement. Oh, yes. Uh, you have a trapdoor by your front desk, and I'm gonna show you your basement real quick. Ooh. It's a nice little area for things. Feel free to mm -hmm. toy with them later. So now we go to Sir Bovine. Oh, um, yes, uh, let me uh, get my pants back on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I mean, ho hold on a minute. <laughs> Let, let's set the scene for you, buddy. <laughs> um, He's playing hide I, I, the puppet. I, I think I just set the scene. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me make sure I got, got it in focus. There we go. Are you sure you want it in focus? 
Yeah, we, we got to get it in focus. <laughs> Sir Bovine. Oh, it won't fit on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Bovine, you lie in bed with your consort for the evening. Uh, you're, you are lying in bed with a gnome female named Aben. The bed has... Sure. Well, Aben? I yes. Susan. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Aben Fain. A female gnome, uh, she is slender, uh, with matted copper hair and large amber eyes. Uh, the bed has silk sheets that are a little rough to the touch, and the room is lit with one wall sconce. Uh, she looks at you expectantly and says, Well, thank you for the wonderful evening. But I'm afraid our time is up. You only pay till 12. And obviously, with all the cheering happening outside, the new year has come, and you must go. Well, of course, of course. Oh, yes. As I, uh... Roll a, roll a uh, charisma uh, check. Charisma check. Yeah. Uh, she she kind of like puts her hand to her chest and is like, "Are you sure you don't want to pay for more time?" Oh, it's the new year, and well, you're a a gnome, and you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> but maybe I'll be back. Oh. Uh <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, you walk. Put a hooker on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. You walk outside, and there you see two women talking. Uh, Runa is in a heated conversation with a human woman in green armor and a sun symbol on her chest. 500 go for taxes! Outrageous! The woman looks at you with some interest. Uh, oh my, a dragonborn here. Oh, and who might you be? Uh, Who's the, the lady of the house? <laughs> uh, the lady of the house is named Runa. Runa Lily. A uh, female halfling. Yeah, a uh, female halfling is uh, is small, even for, like, for a halfling. And she wears a lovely dress, but she carries a massive axe. This halfling has got some muscle on her. She is really upset that this woman came in and says 500 gold pieces for taxes. And you can see that this woman is dressed in green armor and has a sun symbol on her chest. You don't know her, but you've seen, like, you know Runa real well. <laughs> Runa, it looks like it's time to pay the tax, man. <laughs> uh, As I walk out. Oh, wait. Uh, don't leave just yet. As uh, Phyllis walks towards the door and says, So, who might you be? Uh, not the proprietor or a resident, so uh, can you get out of the way? Hmm. Okay. But just be sure to watch yourself in this town. We don't like newcomers that much. Especially ornery ones. That's why there's a hotel, right? <laughs> As I walk out. <laughs> I adore them. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you walk out. Uh, she continues yep. talking to... Uh, to... Uh, to uh, Runa. No Runa. She's got to pay her tax. <laughs> Not my fault. Tax time. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to Woodrow. Woodrow. You are sitting outside the shops, cures and curses, entertaining the crowd. Yeah, oh, I'll put a spell on you. Oh, hold on. Let me let me move her back Would in for right now. Uh, you see Phyllis enter the shop and two guards bar the front door. They look at you with little interest, but decide to not let you in. 
People continue walking by celebrating the new year. Lights fill the area, which is kind of abrasive to your sensitive eyes. You manage well enough, though, but, uh, but out of the corner of your eye, you see something a little strange. It's like a shimmering body that's there and not there at the same time. You, you see a dragonborn walk outside of the bordello that the, of the alley that the thing just went down. Yeah, I learned in my old age not to mess with things you don't understand. <laughs> uh, roll a uh, roll a performance check. Uh, not not you, sir. <laughs> I was uh, not good in bed. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you were not good in bed, um, but uh, yeah, people are throwing silver coins at you. You get. <laughs> you get 20 silver coins. Oh, well, thank you, crowd. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's yeah. my best performance. But... Uh, at this moment, uh, Phyllis uh, leaves. Phyllis leaves. Uh, let me, let me right. show the people what they came to see. I got, I got several screens uh, up and things are happening. Uh, people are walking up and down the street. Uh, you are performing before them. Uh, and then you see this weird creature go into the alley. You also see something you don't normally see every day, which is a red dragonborn stepping out of the bordello. It's, it's kind of confusing. Uh, at the same time, Sir Bovine, you see this under under dark gnome that uh, have only been talked about in close circles around uh, northern uh, northern Zendar, the the continent that you are from, uh, but you've never seen one performing in front of a shop. Uh, Crete, you are running down the alley and you hit something. It it's there and not there at the same time and you're you, you kind of squint your eyes and you just see sort of a shimmering humanoid do I, do I know who it is or do I just kind of sidestep and keep going I mean I mean you can <laughs> if you want to sure I'm just like Doop. you side you sidestep and keep going um, everybody else roll a perception check as he runs out of the alley sir bovine you are uh you are walking down the street as uh, this this kobold comes out of the alley and runs straight into you. What are you doing, you miscreant? No miscreant, just creet. As he just keeps running by. Isn't he hilarious? Who lets kobolds into a city as fair as this? He, ru he runs by. He's running away. Riff raff. I check my pockets real quick to make sure that nothing's missing. Are you like pulling <laughs> coins out of your pocket and like looking through your coin purse? I, I'm, I'm I'm checking to make sure my coin purse is there and that nothing else is missing because dirty kobolds, thieving okay. little bastards so, that they are. So Crete stops. <laughs> okay, and he yeah. turns around. Yeah, and he holds out his alms box and says, "Donate." Now make a wisdom check. <laughs> you you, you are watching all of all of this, uh, Woodrow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean, stuff. albeit out of the corner of your eye, you you're still watching it. All right, what what was your wisdom? Uh, nineteen. 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 Oh. He does not donate. <laughs> he just kind of like shakes his his alms box around a little bit expecting you to put money in it get out of here you ran into me you should be paying me for my grace and not killing me today uh, yeah i've totally stolen vince's accent now <laughs> i hear your accent there i like it half versus going fuck y'all with your accents <laughs> I meant he was supposed to be more pompous, but he's coming off as uh, <laughs> southern now. <laughs> southern pompous. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> well, bless your heart. I hope she goes trips and dies. You're, you're oh, human, Lord. Sir Bovine, right? 
No, uh, uh, red dragon kin. Red dragon. Uh, roll a roll a perception. Hear me. Who? Uh, both uh both uh, Sir Bovine and Crete. Sir Bovine, you don't hear it. So flustered with the stupid cobalt running. Crete, the... <laughs> you hear Bercio running down the alley. Hey, stop! And then all of a sudden, you hear gurgling sounds like. His throat being slit. It's about time someone got that bastard. Uh, you walk back to the alley and look down it? No, I look at towards where the sound was coming from. I can't see down the alley anymore? No, you ran uh, in front of the in front of the bordello. Okay, so I made a turn? Yeah. You you turned you turned left out of the alley. And ran right into uh, Sir Bovine. But you did hear Bercio, like, kick the bucket. Mm. Oh my gosh! You hear uh, Iliard, the the halfling, say, Oh my gosh! He's dead! He's dead! At this point, you hear, uh, you hear, Bo you hear it, Bovine. And then a woman who is just walking by screams, and starts running. Uh, the guards that were out in front of the the house or that the potion shop begin running towards that area. What do y'all do? Walk knock on the door way. behind. Do I notice? <laughs> I'm knocking on the door for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hear a knock on on the door, D, as uh, as uh, a, a rapping and uh, a lot of commotion happening outside, screams and such. Uh, I just kind of see like Cecilia like opening the door and going, "You, you know, you, you don't need to knock, dear. You, you work here too." <laughs> well, the big guys were keeping me out. I almost stabbed them in the nuts. I didn't want that to happen again. Uh, somebody, somebody over there. I feel like I heard a gurgle, like they were cooking crawfish. I think he died. Crawfish <laughs> delicious. As Cecilia walks that way. <laughs> My morbid curiosity gets me to start kind of walking over to see what's going on. People are running away. Uh, there, you look down the alley, uh, roll a perception check, and watching. Nailed it. <laughs> Woodrow, you're standing right in front of the alley. You saw everything. This un invisible creature, like, just came up and, like, cut his throat and the other uh two people like begin running away like ah evil evil there seems to be an invisible shining monster like beginning to feast on Bercio. Oh. Oh. oh look he's doing a funny little dance when he lays on the ground <sighs> Never seen that before. What, someone doing the death jitters? Yeah, but usually death jitters don't cause blood and bite wounds. I don't know. I'm not going over there, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, the the guards look down the alley. Nah, Cecilia stays where she is. <laughs> A Get gold it. saying, it goes for a god. Well, all we need is a soul. We don't really need his body. I'm gonna let it finish. You there, stop! Oh, gosh. I would like to push mm, it. And they, they rush in. <laughs> the subtle shade, it caught me off guard, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, uh... Finishes eating and then teleports away. Damn. What the hell? Oh, uh, uh, find him! Find him! Witnesses, you, you there? He, uh, he walks up to you, uh, uh, Sir Bovine, and says, "What did you, you see?" Address me as sire. I am Lord Bovine Longhorn of Oxen. Hold on, they're they're gonna roll a history check to see if they know you. I'm just gonna do this on the board. 
I might roll twice, so here's the here's the roll. They know me. <laughs> oh, you! Aren't you that that estranged son? Yeah, yeah, I was telling you about it the other day. He, wasn't he the one that was caught in all those bordellos with all them gnomes and such? Uh, figures so why he would be here. <laughs> you do not talk to me and you address me as sire. You in the... I am <laughs> I am Sir Bovine Longhorn of Oxen. Ah... Uh... You you ain't nothing special here, sir. Now you move That's along. Right. Call me, sir. That's what you're gonna be doing. <laughs> this is not your territory. This here belongs to Bovi. You are in the wrong continent, mate. Yeah, you best mind yourself. The other guard moves to flank. Now tell us what you saw. I saw nothing, except for you fools letting that creature get away. Ah, oh, little uppity, aren't you? Well, how would you like to spend a night in a clink? Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> <laughs> you just see, like, Cecilia, like, pull, like, a little snack bag. And, like, <laughs> This is so much better than what they show Hold on the screen. Hold on, I'm, okay. I, I, I'm just going to roll for them. to It's sort of an insight. Uh, here we go. <laughs> wait, wait, does he have diplomatic immunity? I, I think he does. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't mess with him then. Uh, I've heard those with diplomatic immunity. If you threaten to throw them in jail, you better watch out for who they work for. <laughs> oh, it's you, Cecilia. Aren't you always the pip? <laughs> Wait a tick. There's a kobold over there. And he runs towards yes, you, Crete. Yes. Go get that kobold. <laughs> he was running from the scene. <laughs> he runs towards you, Crete. You! You there! Cobalt! What did you see? I hold out my, my alms box and I go, Darn it! <laughs> uh, they have to roll, they have to roll a, uh, a check, right? Wisdom. A wisdom check? Okay, so yeah. here we go. They roll... Well, well, <laughs> Don't do it. They roll the six. Uh, he pulls out two gold and puts it in your... In your arms box. Yeah. What did you see? Now, what did you see? Gods. <laughs> it was invisible. Huh. Was invisible. Uh, Cecilia, with that, uh, with that, uh, Arcana check, and your history... You know a creature like this very well. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, well, I rolled an Arcana check to see that, but I'm like, oh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, investigation check. Uh, you see, uh, it, as you look down at the body, uh, well, one, one roll at a time. First, Cecilia, you know a creature like this from the plane you are from. It is called a skulk. Appears as a drab, smooth skin humanoid if its reflection can be seen in a mirror or another surface. On the other hand, it's usually uh, invisible, ki kind of invisible, uh, at least uh, its aura is, and uh, the only way you can see it uh, is if you were to hold up a mirror to it, uh, you ran into it, uh, Crete. And, yeah, Bovine, your investigation check. You see uh, large slash marks across his chest and his uh, his throat. I look away. Uh, do I, is the guard out of line, uh, line of sight of me? Yes. Uh, they begin. Wa uh, one of them begins walking over to you, Cecilia, and you, Woodrow. Okay. Greetings. 
uh, Cecilia and, uh, Woodrow. Uh, what? he kind of winks at you, Cecilia. Did you see anything of import tonight, milady? Oh, darling, you know. You know, if I tell you, can you owe me a little favor later? Uh, I don't like the way you said that, Cecilia. Uh, la la lady Cecilia. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> lady D Cecilia, uh, that that's kind of what the wink was about. I, I, I already owe you. Oh, no, darling. There's, there's this whole another I owe you. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, you, 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 uh, I mean, yes, I... Ah, uh, hold on. He he decides for himself. Uh, uh, reluctantly, he says, uh, it, it would really help me out, uh, but if it requires me owing you a favor, then yes, uh, I, I approve. Please. Cecilia just slowly holds out her hand to him. She, he grabs, he grabs her hand. Uh, how do you hold out your hand? Like, like she just kind of just like, you he, know. He, he, grab, he looks both ways. Uh, grabs it and is like, just light peck on the on the knuckle. And well, that's you, adorable. you probably know what I'm doing. <laughs> So he will feel like a little cold chill, like as soon as he does that, like initiating the contract kind of deal. <sighs> yes, that... darling. And you said it was a, a skulk that yeah. I saw. Yeah, it was a it's skulk. Like, yeah. You know, because I'm always bored, just slaying away in that shop of mine. I believe <clears throat> what you're looking for is a skulk. Hmm. A skulk. Uh, can you tell me more about this creature? Um, well, since you know we're on good terms now, of course, my darling. You uh, see... m maybe not out here in the open as a, as a noblewoman walks by and other people begin, like, again, the, th this is like a big celebration. Uh, can, uh -huh. can we go into your shop and maybe you can give me a description uh something to let me know what this creature is i uh, well, as she just kind of <laughs> like kind of very much the spider to the fly come to my parlor kind of thing <laughs> he he walks in willingly <laughs> <laughs> into my parlor i did it for guys <laughs> 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 uh, and I give him the information I know. Okay, so uh, you would you would know that uh, they appear drab, smooth skin, uh, humanoid. If its reflection can be seen, uh, the skulk appears as a dim, translucent form in the light of a candle made of fat, rendered from a corpse whose identity is unknown. Random fact that you know, he kind of shudders at that. Uh, humanoid children age 10 and under can see through this invisibility, so children can see it. So, you know, if you just want to strap a child to your chest and walk around the town to look for it, you can find it. Uh, seems like a job for the child laborers. We'll get them on it. Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, when can, when do I owe payment? He says with a chill in his voice. I'll call you, my darling. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, the the uh, guard is still questioning you, Crete. Uh, he was invisible. Uh, what what do you mean? He, he, he you, what, you couldn't see? Oh, uh, did you go temporarily blind? No, invisible. Like magic. 
Uh, uh, well, yeah, they, there is a lot of magic around here. We are pretty close to the border of the swamp. Uh, there's strange things coming out of there these days. Wait, why am I telling you this? Do, do you know the deceased? He walks you over to the alley. No. Roll a deception. <laughs> he lost two cards. <laughs> Hold on, let me let, let me just roll for him. Yeah, he he totally believes you. He's like, ah, oh, well, I uh, I mean, wait, cards. Where were you playing cards at? He raises an eyebrow. Thank you for donation. And I turn around and just kind of wander <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, Sir Bovine, uh, the 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 kobold begins wandering away, and the guards walk up. Uh, best best lead that to the coroner, lad. Besides, Did you're I tell you about calling me lad. Besides your royalty, you ain't supposed to be looking at bodies. <laughs> the bad bodies is the best one past time. So I didn't get a chance to, to actually loot the corpse. He has modest garments. Uh, I don't know if you take any of those, but he does has have some really nice boots that you think you can fetch a gold for. Uh, he also has a coin purse on him. Uh, he has uh, 36, uh, uh, 36 gold and uh, 24 silver. I, uh, I take the gold purse. I'm like, oh, yeah, when the guards approach, of course, of course, as I walk away. You pocket it. All right. Uh, as you're walking away, you see uh, Crete. And, of course, this gnome is just like this uh, underground gnome is staring at you along with this woman in a, in a brilliant black dress. I mean, she is quite lovely. Uh, and, yeah, she, her, her dress is low cut. Uh, would you like to describe yourself, Dee? This black dress, and then instead of the flowers that are on the shoulders, she has, like, this like, metal uh, chest piece that kind of looks like wings draping over her. Oh, and yeah. then her makeup is always, like, on point. Hair, beautiful. And then, like, she has the two braids. But instead of her ground being gold, it's actually, like, silver branches. And she actually put, like, pearls and stuff on it to, like, decorate it up, you know, to make it look less than what she... Think people would catch on too if they knew it wasn't for decoration. <laughs> it is. It is quite lovely. Uh, 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 Crete, uh, what do you look like? So I'm like two feet tall. I've got robes on that kind of cover up some uh, chain mail that I'm wearing, but the chain mail is kind of rudely made to look like scales. <laughs> um, I've got this very wide brim hat on to kind of covered my cobaldness. Um, and I mean, he kind of looks like any other cobald to most people that look, but you know, if you have an eye for cobalds, you might notice that his scales are kind of like a, a rusty kind of brown with some, some blue flecks in them. It's like got bright yellow eyes. <laughs> and uh, has a distinctive scar um, kind of across the side of his head, but usually covered up by his very wide brim hat as he scurries around, mm -hmm. um, trying not to be noticed. M mostly tatters. The hat is actually kind of nice, but the like his robes and everything is... is like a rag you might find in the corner of an alley that people have used for unspeakable things. There are uh, humanoids walking back and forth on the on the street. Uh, you notice uh, you notice a very beautiful woman uh, dressed in black with uh, with feathers going down her her shoulder. Well, it's, or it's sort of like a um, like a a chest piece, but 
it connects at the back and then as it comes forward it kind of like wraps around her ribs a little bit like going mm -hmm. underneath her breasts and then it kind of goes up over her shoulders and then just kind of like curves around the breast too so like kind of like looking fancy but also drawing the eye because she knows how to draw people in <laughs> most of all clients of men if you didn't yeah Mm -hmm. Oh, there's women too, darling, and they swear they're straight. I... Crete, Crete walks up to her and holds out his alms box. He's like, donate to Cord. This is not a spell. He's just saying that. He walks up to you and says, donate to Cord. You also see an old gnome. You see an old gnome, uh, you know, mustache flared out all the way into the sideburns, you know. Just relatively, he looks old, but, you know, nice, nice clothing, nice... Nice uh, suit jacket, if you would call it a suit jacket. I don't know. Nice hat, but just old guy. Looks like an old uh, jazz singer, you know? And there we go. He walks up to you, Cecilia, and set, puts out his arms. Alms I, box. Ask alms him for box. alms. I have a box. You put alms in it. Cecilia puts an almond in his box. <laughs> She puts a nut in your box. <laughs> okay. He accepts it. He goes over to the dwarf, or gnome, the deep gnome, sorry. Yeah. It's like, donate to cord. Was that a spell? No. No. Uh, yeah, see, the thing is, I don't know who cord is. Cord is mighty. If I don't know who he is, how is he mighty? I, I go off talking about cord. <laughs> I imagine, uh, I imagine Sir Bovine just sort of walks up out of curiosity. He's just sort of standing there. I'm going to wait until he's done and tell him a long story with no ending about fighting a beholder. The <laughs> <laughs> cord could have helped you. I ah, see, but Celia helped me and she gave you an almond, so I take that as her payment and mine because I run with her, so... Turn to Sir Bovine. Donate to Cord. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, not a spell. Just. Piss off, Crete. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cretan. Uh, Bovine, uh, would you, you like. Right. Would you like to describe yourself as you walk up? I'm a average height dragonborn, red, red tones. Uh, wearing a nice kind of chain mail, very fine, kind of very well polished, maintained. Uh, battle axe on my back. Sorry, not battle axe, great axe on my back. And I walk very prim, proper, very upright, kind of nose slightly elevated at all times because, God forbid, I have to look at the filth that I'm walking in right now. Cramps is slowly turning into Morgan Freeman. <laughs> the accent is just slowly going into work. <laughs> Remember, <Yeah>. Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. It's Morgan Freeman. So, <laughs> so yeah, y'all see each other. Uh, Crete walks up to you again, asks you for money. You curse him and tell him to go away. Oh, he calls me. Wait, what did you call me? Miss Creant. Miss Creant. Yeah, he, see, he just keeps thinking you're saying his name wrong. And so he's correcting you, and he's getting quite annoyed. And this time, when he says it, and like he goes, "Say it right," and his like eyes kind of glow a little bit, and the earth shakes ever so slightly. The earthquake, get down! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it... massaged to my toesies. <laughs> Excuse me, sir," says uh, the woman uh, next to you, Woodrow. Would you mind signing this for me? I, I would really like your autograph. Merci beaucoup, ma'am. He belongs to me. <laughs> Do I get anything funny from that piece of paper? Uh, no, nothing. N okay. Like, there's nothing. This this is uh, a child noblewoman. She she is uh, she she doesn't look like more than eight years old. Aww. As I signed the autograph, well, what is your name, little lady? I love to know the 
name of my biggest fan. <laughs> Give me a second. She looked quite little to me. Well, I'm only three foot tall, so. <laughs> She's probably taller than me. Uh, roll a d10. Alrighty. Uh, d10. Her name is Atel Save. Spell. Atel Save. Alrighty. Uh, she has red hair, brown eyes, and she looks she looks up at you like with bewilderment. Uh, she kind of walks with a little bit of a limp. She wears modest garments, uh, but but she she's holding out her little book. Uh, it's like a little diary. Uh, and yeah, she's just. Thank yes, you. Yes, you remind me of my daughter. Yeah. Oh, that's that's very nice. I I'm hoping I'm hoping to travel the world and and see all these great places and great people. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I I'm sure when you become super famous, I will, I I I will have your name and it will be worth a lot of money one day. And she screams. As she sees something that you cannot. Oh. Well, darling, well. As Cecilia, like, turns excitedly. I... I was, I was gonna warn you against, uh, being in an entanglement with a giant because he likes to throw people <laughs> against trees, but okay. You, you see a slight shimmering on the edge of the shop, and it goes down the alley. Creep has oh, that, guiding bolt. That damn sun glare. Guiding bolt. Uh, okay. Uh, roll to attack. Rams, make sure she doesn't run away. We need her. And Cecilia's like walking towards them. What do you want me to kidnap a child now? I don't understand. <laughs> no, we just need her eyes to see. <laughs> so you want me to pluck her eye? What the hell type of shop are we running here? Don't ask questions. <laughs> Reveal him. Did other people, other people are are looking in the direction she's screaming and just sort of walking by, like, "Well, okay, whatever." Did that put the attack? Yes. Uh, there. Twenty-two. Uh, yes, you absolutely do hit it. Everybody begins screaming. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative. I think it glows for six seconds. It's like until the end of my next turn, it says. So. Well, look at the little girl. You tell no one of this, mon cher. All right. You hit him. He starts glowing. Uh, he's he's like really hurt by this. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, Gramps. Uh, you see the shimmering image as uh, as this uh humanoid appears. And begins rushing towards the group, uh, towards the little girl that just got her name signed. What do you do? Well, I'm gonna uh, excuse me, little lady. I need you to step behind me, please. Okay. And I'm uh, going to walk forward. Uh huh. Fifteen feet, right there. And ah. gonna. Uh, oh, uh, I'm going to try to hit it with a thunder wave. It needs to make a constitution save and throw, DC 13. Okay, let me pull up his stats. Uh, Either way, alt drag. Okay, so I'm going to roll this on the board. It's a plus two. Uh... <laughs> he is pushed 10 feet away in 13 damage. Takes 13 damage. And he's pushed how far? He's pushed 10 foot away? Mm-hmm. Any direction no, or three. any direction? Uh, I believe that is up to the DM's discretion. Okay. Uh I'll I'll do uh north, south, east, west. Uh he goes uh south and gets blasted down the alley. He's a cry. he's around the building, guys. I don't know you guys, but I feel that you want to help. So yeah. Cecilia, he, he's out of your line of sight, but you saw Woodrow just knock the hell out of him. 
technically it's Casper's turn because he has a higher dexterity than me. Oh, okay. So we'll move Casper's up. Uh, Sir Bovine, what would you like to do? You run I'm to the. <laughs> and I'm going to smack him with the great axe. <laughs> <laughs> a 20 definitely hits. That's 14 slashing damage. Oh, he is looking so bad right now. Um, okay. Uh, is that all you do? Yeah, your your great not much else I can. Your great axe sinks into him, and nearly cleaves off an arm. <laughs> He's just barely holding on. Uh, Wait, you know what? No, I am gonna I'm gonna do action surge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. With that, you slice off the skulk's head, and it goes flying into one of the trees nearby. Well, I go chase that head. I'm going to hold it up and say, I killed him. I am the hero of the town. Hold on. I'll roll a general perception. One guy is one guy is like, yeah, and continues walking. <laughs> it's just that one drunk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your praise. <laughs> mm. Oh wow! I, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go find my mommy. Uh, no way. <laughs> The little girl, uh, Atel, starts walking away. I'm going to get an earful. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you are holding up this this uh, head, this guy walks up to you and says, My, my, my! Aren't you the hero type? Listen, I represent... Uh, I, I represent the Coliseum. Uh, I... I don't know if you heard, but the Coliseum Games are quite a big deal here on Cowton. Uh, would y'all be interested in, uh, perhaps joining the festivities? Y'all seem like a well-to-do group. I'm sorry, who are you talking to? Uh, so, cord. Uh, he's talking to the entire uh, group. Uh, like everybody is, I imagine y'all are like walking up on the on this uh, creature now, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. a lot of energy. I'm dozing off on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of just see Cecilia, just kind of go. <laughs> oh, oh, like hold him up, <laughs> or wait, you poke him. <laughs> so yeah, I'm she... to hold him. <laughs> Well, well, here's my card. I am... Does he react to the alms box? <laughs> I am Jerry Mesha Massel. Uh, uh, he, he, has a, he has a long face, obviously human, uh, chopped, blonde cropped blonde hair and green eyes. Uh, he wears leather armor and uh, wields a short sword. Uh, but he also, like, has uh, a, a little backpack with him, and he's, like, holding out. See, I represent uh, heroes far and wide. Uh, I am quite the the manager, and I have an eye for talent. See, I see all of you, and you would be wonderful in the arena, I think. People would go gaga over. Ooh. You just see Celia just kind of go late over to Grubs. He called us heroes. He did. Hopefully. This reminds me of the time when I went to the crossroads and I met a guy and he tried to. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already a hero. I saved the village and I prevented people from dying. Ah, but don't you want your name far known far and wide? Ah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of coin in it for you, too. Coin, women, uh, no women. Uh, other valuable items. I mean, if you make a big name for yourself, we could be big in Zindar. <laughs> Coins in box. Um, 
he uh like Tom's box a little more. He, he's like, hmm. And you are a very interesting creature too. Uh, he he puts one uh, gold into the box. Just think about it. Here's my card. Uh, all you have to do is speak into it when you want me to, or if you want to sign a contract and join our guild. What do they call you? He looks at all. I you am, uh, sir. Bullvine Longhorn of Oxen. Hmm. Sir Bullvine. Hmm. What is that ring bell? He he thinks for a minute. Oh, I'm sure it will come to me. And uh, you, sir, the the pre, the the dashing-looking aged gentleman you are. Oh, thank you. They call me Woodrow, and I heard you talking about women. Now, my 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 sapling hasn't sprouted in many years, so can you assure me of something different? I'm sure they can. I mean, I'm sure you, of all people, would love a life of luxury. Uh, I thought you were going to try that potion. I'm not taking the blue potion. It makes my heart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you, madam, so lovely. Ah, would you... Oh, would, would you... <laughs> yes, uh, m madam, you are quite lovely. I'm sure the patrons would pay double to see you uh, fight in the arena. Would you like... Uh, Here's my card again, uh, uh, and you, young, little, little kobold, uh, you, you, what is your, what is your name? A servant of court. Thank you for donation. Oh, you're very welcome, but you can make so much more for your, for your cord. Yes, cord. Cord is mighty. Hmm. Interesting. I think he's got a little, uh, his pie doesn't quite have all the berries in it. Hmm. He glares at you with, with like, in his eyes glow a little bit and the earth shakes a little more. Oh! Back to the floor. <laughs> Earthquake, oh no! <laughs> like, everybody shakes a little bit and it's like, oh, what was, what? Oh, that. Oh, don't. <laughs> Feed the miscreants. <laughs> so, uh, yes, here's my card. Uh, feel free to contact me anytime. I'm sure together we can make a lot of money and a lot of patrons happy. Oh, this is exciting. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> Do an insight on this guy. Uh, roll an insight. No. Uh... Hold on. He's corn up for me to read. Yeah. Seems legit. Um, there are patches on his person. Like, like, his armor is kind of patched up. Uh, let's see. His name was, uh, Jerry, uh, Miss Cell. Love it. N no, it's spelled, uh, G-E-R-Y, Miss Cell. M E Why? because we love you. S E L. Mascal, he's from Mexico. He makes a uh, good brew. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm. So yeah, it is the new year. Uh, you are still sitting outside your. Uh... That's still a couple months away. <laughs> no, no, this is a new year in game. Like it. Like people are still celebrating around you, despite the. Uh... Oh, I turn around and kiss Cecilia. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure he just signed his life away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cecilia. Pro performance. Let's see. Pro <laughs> performance. All right. Oh. I'm better. <laughs> You've had a lot better. <laughs> There's not many it's either. It's good. It gets in the way, doesn't it? 
<laughs> no, you just got to work on your game. It, it's more like a woodpecker hitting a tree. You you got to be more gentle and get in there. That reminds oh, me of my wife said, never mind. He starts he starts banging his head like a woodpecker. No, I said you you were like a woodpecker. You need to be more gentle than you know. Not not try to knock the female out while you kiss her. You want to be gentle. I'm not supposed to knock him out when I kiss them? No, darling, because if anything happens afterwards, they call that rape. I take out a book and start writing something down. <laughs> I put my arm around him. L let me tell you about an alibi real quick. Pete <laughs> 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 wanders off and starts working the crowd. Okay, you wander off, start working the crowd. Uh, roll a perform- make a persuasion. Okay. Well, that sounded real Bill Cosby of me. I'd like to apologize to the people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Put it in the pudding. <laughs> I, I may have implied that my character has done bad things in the past now. <laughs> you get five silver, silver coins. From people passing by, Buzz. Mostly because they're just drunk and they're they're thinking you're doing tricks. Oh wow, <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's uh, cold. I, or they think you're homeless. It's, <laughs> I I give him fight. What do I have? He looks in his bag. Here, five silver coins. Let's do a little dance. Come on. I'm a cat one. Come on, do a little dance, and then no, he, and then water. the, and then he passes out and falls straight <laughs> in the street. Which all slides and make a little love and get down tonight. I'm sorry. Wait, he's Don't. passed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah first with a slide of hand. All right. Do a slide of hand. I, I poke him a little bit with with uh, like the the butt end of bonk, like not so it makes sparks or anything. It was just like. Okay. And make sure he's out. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's he's not moving. I like look around to make sure nobody's looking directly at me, and then just kind of yeah, you know. Slide a pan. Uh, with a seventeen. Hold on. Uh, you seem to uh, you seem to pull off his person. Yeah. Another eight gold. Nice. Into the alms box it goes. Mm -hmm. You got quite a little pile of money collecting in your arms box. Uh, Cecilia Woodrow, you, you see this little... Uh, well, uh, with that, what are your passive perceptions? Uh, Cecilia's is 14. And okay. mine is 12. Okay, so you... I, I don't give a shit what the creep do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you uh, you don't see anything, uh, but uh, yeah, he 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 kind of stands by this passed out gentleman. <laughs> what would y'all like to do? Uh... So uh, it, it's the middle of the night. Uh, the new year has just passed. People are starting to go back to their houses. Uh, it's late. The stars are out. The moon is out. Full crack. Uh, As everyone walks by, <laughs> don't forget to stop off by cures and curses for your hangover remedies. <laughs> it's a bonk in the head, is what she's saying. She'll give you a bonk in the head. This guy on the ground says, Remy, and then falls back down. <laughs> I don't even think I can decipher that, lady. So, yeah, I don't know what he just said. I'm just going to nod and smile. Okay. <laughs> Pete starts heading back to the Temple of Cord. Okay, you head to the Temple of Cord. I'm pretty sure there's a potion that requires the scaly lips of something. Did you not write that down? Oh, which one was that? <laughs> she... uh, I don't know. I saw a little Amazing. tongue was slipped Amazing. in there too. I'm pretty sure. That's an extra. 
So, <laughs> uh, you go off to Cord. Uh, Sir Bovine, what are you doing? I'm uh, going to just uh, head on over to this uh, little building over here with the known women in it. I'll, uh, I'll talk. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> so, while I'm in there, I want to talk and ask about this Coliseum and how much they know about it. Uh, so, uh, hold on real quick. Let no. me go to her, her name, Rune, Runa, uh, Lily, uh, the, the matron of this place greets you and set with a few tears coming out of her eyes. <sighs> oh, Sir Bovine, you've, <laughs> uh, you've come back for more, I hope. Hey. My lady, I have. Oh, wonderful. Uh, your usual, shall we say? Uh, should I get Abin, or would you be interested in someone else, perchance? How much will two cost me? Oh, quite the entrepreneur. Uh, two will I cost... I don't think you know what that word means. Or... <laughs> Pro that's probably me. <laughs> Qu quite the con yeah, that, I, connoisseur, I, I, I should say. That, that, that's that's better. Yeah, the the connoisseur. Oh, uh, Albin, Patricia, please. We have guests. Uh, uh, Abin comes out, uh, and uh, another. Hold on, I need. I, I wasn't expecting you to go back in. Uh, give me a second. I, did demand two. <laughs> I know. <laughs> copy, the, copy the one. Just yeah, copy yeah, I'll just do that. <laughs> They're twins, you see. Blair's couch. Ooh, there. three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they look very similar. Uh, they're both slender uh, with uh, matted copper hair. Yeah. And say, oh, uh, it will be 20, 20 gold for the evening. That goes all well, evening. You mean for the morning, right? Because it goes all the way till the, the a.m. Oh yes, it's yes. Past midnight. Right, <laughs> right, right. You can have them all evening, or Wait, mo no, uh, no, morning. Past. To all morning, <laughs> all morning. Perfect. Uh, but checkout time is promptly at seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I uh, I throw twenty gold down on the table. My ladies, let's go. Oh, yeah. thank you for your patronage. Have a good time. They they all. As, as I walk up the stairs, I'm like, don't knock them out. Don't knock them out. Don't knock them out. <laughs> I gave you a good alibi. You're fine. <laughs> uh, you you get into the cramped room, uh, and then begin. Go ahead and roll a performance check. Shouldn't they be rolling performance? I, I, I mean, yeah, they should. Uh, I, mean... I, I just made Gnome Dragonborn. Fuck, that is amazing. Okay, so one of them is putting in a lot of effort. This is Aben from earlier. Patricia is just kind of watching. Twiddling. She's not into it? Yeah, she's just like, eh. Yeah. You want to okay. suck on my scale? Oh, gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, uh, no tip for you. No. <laughs> oh no, I got a lot of tip here. Suck on the tail. I like it when you suck on the tail. Suck on the no, fucking no tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going back to Woodrow and uh, Cecilia. <laughs> uh, Gramps gives uh, Cecilia a flask uh, and pours a drink. Or pulls out a flask and pours a drink for Cecilia to to uh, wash the taste out, what would y'all like to do now? Your eye was taken. If we do do this, then we're going to need to find someone to run the shop when we're not here. Yes, and I, everyone I know is not here or alive, so, yeah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could get one of my aunties to work. Hmm... <laughs> what? I just love them people, yes. 
<laughs> okay, go pass. And Cecilia will walk into the store and she'll go down to the basement so that she can mm -hmm. ring up the aunties. <laughs> okay, you ring up the aunties. Uh, here, let's... You didn't name your aunties, did you? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, okay, but, uh, I, I, I can give them a random name or you can name them now. Um, we have Myrtle. Okay, uh, Myrtle. Winifred. Winifred. Nelly. Nelly. Uh, and you, then do you mother's want... name okay. would be Lottie. You said Lottie? L-O-T-T-I-E. And so you're, you're trying to get in touch with one of your aunties? Uh, yes. Just, you, she's she's sitting in like a call out to the aunties to see who wants to take her to the shop. Do you want me to, you want me to randomize their descriptions or uh, do you want certain descriptions for them? Um, I can kind of picture, um, like, uh, I was thinking. Oh, I was thinking, uh, uh, Hocus Pocus, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yes, that would be the three aunties, yes. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Myrtle would be the redhead, Winifred would be the, the, the brunette, and Nellie would be the blonde. Uh, Winifred is the brunette. Uh, the kind of chubby one that li is, is, likes to eat and, uh, Simple. <laughs> okay. And Myrtle is... Uh, Myrtle is the redhead, the leader of the group. And who was the blonde again? Uh, Nelly. 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 Nelly, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I might like Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> She's also kind of a ditz. Uh, really, Myrtle is the brains of the op operation. <laughs> uh, of the aunties. <laughs> yeah, of the aunties. <laughs> Lottie is sort of the leader. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I might like mother. Nelly. Yeah. Everybody likes Nelly. No, <laughs> uh, if the sapling can grow, Nelly, you would <laughs> you would know. Okay, um, so you go downstairs and you begin contacting your aunties. You yes. You listen in, you, or how, how do you contact them? Do you meditate, uh, or... Like, we have, like, I can kind of see it, like, it's, like, one of those, like, mirror thingies. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the person who answered is, is, uh, hold on, I'll, I'll roll a d6 and act this out. Okay, perfect, this is who I wanted. Is Winifred, she looks at, like, looks out, uh, through the mirror and says... <laughs> Oh, hi, Cecilia. How you doing? She eats a cupcake. Oh, we're the friend. Hello, darling. How is the aunties? We ju we're just sitting around. Uh, I'm eating cupcakes. Winifred, who is it? Uh, you see in you see in the background, Midge Myrtle walking up. Oh, hello, Cecilia. It's hello, Myrtle. It's it's great. Uh, S sit down, Winifred. Uh, pl please. J yes, you can eat whatever you want. Just go, go ahead. Y y yes, dear. Did you you have a. Last time, remember last time you said that she literally ate anything she wanted. Oh, r r j put down the chair. Put down the chair. <laughs> no, no, Winifred. Winifred, control your cravings. We've been through this. I don't care how hungry you are. Nelly, watch her. N Nelly, N Nelly, wake up. N Nelly, wait. <sighs> Sorry, it is a madhouse here. <sighs> oh, <it's... laughs> So, do you have a new soul for us? Oh, 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 yes. I actually got a guardsman this time. Oh, it... is he young? Oh, I can't. It... Was he young? Yeah, uh, he's middle aged. I'm kind of middle aged, but you know, still spry. Oh, wonderful! I love. I. It was a human too. Oh, 
beautiful. I cannot wait to eat his soul. Um, please, uh, tell me what you need, dear. Well, you see, there was this gentleman who came around, and he was like, if you fight in the arena, people everywhere would know your name. But think, if I went out there and everybody heard our name, guess how many souls I could get? Hmm. This is very promising, but... Yes. But fame is a double-edged sword, dear. Oh, I know, don't worry. All hush-hush under the table. Hmm. All right. Uh, you have my blessing. I will, I will, no. I have to bring it up to your mother. I... Of course, but I was actually wondering, before we brought it up to mother, if you guys could watch the shop while I'm gone. Oh, labor. Hmm. So drab. Mm. I mean, just think of all those delicious human souls I'll be bringing home. That's true. You do send a lot of souls our way. It's, it's quite, it's quite satisfying. Mm. Do you still have that torture chamber downstairs? Where do you think I'm calling from? Oh right. Oh, this is a nice little. Uh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh, um, and I still got your gift you gave me last birthday over there. <laughs> oh, the rack. Oh, I. I'm so. I'm so happy you're getting good use out of it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. You know we will be there shortly. And as soon as you like hang up on the phone with them, there there they are, like right behind you. One of them eating cupcakes. The other one is like fast asleep, just sort of like laying. But uh, she's also wearing a a nice gown and like slender frame. And oh my gosh, this place is so beautiful. But how? Oh. Okay, there is a, there's a stairwell up. Hmm. Yes, yes, that leads to the shop. Mm. So upstairs, you know, we have these snake oil potions, and then we have the potions that actually do things, you know, for the customers who are a little more going on upstairs and can catch on quickly. Ah, hmm. Uh, they are labeled, so we yes, don't yes, mix them yes. up? Okay, yes. wonderful. Very simple, even for... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so yes, uh, do as you please, my dear. Uh, we will take care of the shop for you. Uh, Winifred, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. She <laughs> Nelly wakes up. Yes, Myrtle. Oh, where are we? Oh my. Oh, Cecilia! Oh, it's so wonderful to see you again. Oh, goodness! I feel like Cecilia is used to her aunt, so she knows like <laughs> how to act around her. She knows how to act around Nelly. She knows how to act around uh, Myrtle. So, like with Nelly, like she does like the happy like little, you know, little jump around in the circle kind of thing, and then like oh yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> It's good to see you again, yay! Oh, we went on a trip. This is wonderful. <laughs> you know that twice in one minute. And and and, and 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 when it when it is like, oh, 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 it's it's nice to see you, dear. I I'm oh, happy. She forgot to chew, didn't she? Uh, <laughs> do, do you have any sweets for your auntie? Oh, I see you know, if you go up into the shop behind the counter, I'm pretty sure I have snacks back there because even I get She's food. already upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> You you hear a bunch of banging and clanging and <laughs> win a fret, win a fret, win it. Ooh, calm down. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, 
I believe you were, um, uh, g- the, the, the soul that you, st- <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, right. Uh, it's, it's lovely to see you again, you sweet old man. She, she grabs your cheek and kind of squeezes it a little and begins eating. Um, 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 and clanging and and trying to find other snacks in the near area. Uh, so, and we'll go to uh, Crete as you enter in the Temple of Cord. I go to the the big alms box, mm. and I empty my alms box into it. Except I keep uh, two gold. gold. <laughs> You keep, I, you keep... I, I keep I keep ten percent of mine uh, for me, so there's twenty four point five in there. Uh, and... the the uh, patron walks up and says, "Thank you. Uh, will will you be needing anything?" A sleep place. I'm tired. Ah uh, yes. Uh, we have plenty of rooms for our patrons. Uh, you, you will, you, you have donated quite a bit, but in the morning, you will have to prove yourself, as this is the Temple of Cord, and we are all about battle here. But, rest up, I'm sure you will do fine. He, he stops by the prayer room, and he makes some prayer, and... And then goes off and goes to sleep. Okay. Uh, each of you can take a long rest. Sir Bovine, you wake among women about, like, like both on each arm, uh, kind of leaning over you. See, uh, f- uh, Patricia has her foot in your face. Uh, the... Uh, while uh, Abin uh, is like all over your chest like her whole body is on your chest uh, and her feet are like on your on the middle of your thigh she's using you as the bed <laughs> perfect uh huh is there a clock in the room uh no, but yeah, uh, you can roll a survival check. Uh sure. Why not? Okay, judging by where the sun is in the sky, you think must be a little bit past eight, maybe eight thirty. Uh, well, ladies, it's been a pleasure as always, but your uh... your lord and sire must depart. I have much to do as the hero of the village. Yeah, Good yeah. day to you all as I put on my, my, my chain mail and start walking out. Okay. Heading bye. The P- Patricia says, uh, bye. And Abin says, come back soon. Kind of goes back to sleep. You make your way to the Coliseum. Uh, the, the town is kind of dirty. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the town is kind of dirty coming off of a celebration such as the New Year's, uh, party. Uh, there are, there are people, like, just passed out on the streets. Some guards are walking by, kicking them, saying, get up, come on, go, go out of here. This is, this is city, come on. <laughs> Uh, you make your way to the Colosseum, and yeah, you you see this large, uh, large structure in, in the middle of the town. It is quite a big uh, uh, spectacle, and, and yeah, yeah, it's kind of the castle. Uh, you see, uh, you see people like starting to come in and out of it. Uh, they, they look like they're getting ready for the night's festivities. Um, I look for the little man that uh, approached us last night after I slayed that beast. Uh, J- uh, Jerry. Uh, he uh, 
You find him, like, uh, right outside the Colosseum, just sort of looking around and uh, observing people. He, he seems to be handing out his card to, uh, to uh, the guards and, like, I can make you famous, yeah. <laughs> and he looks over at you and sees you coming. <gasps> Sir Bovine, it's a pleasure. Have you... Uh, Given it in thought. Sign me up, little man, and <gasps> I will show them what the hero of the village can do in this here Coliseum. Oh, that's wonderful! Awesome! Wait, wait, where's the rest of your group? What group? There, there was four of you. There, 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 there was four? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, wh where's the rest of you? My bovine works alone. Oh. Well, um, I mean, so, so some of the matches are more prestige if you have a group. But uh, I, I mean, sure, I can I can sign you up uh, if you if you want to do the loan things. Uh, uh, you, uh, what is your skill set? I, I see I that. The head things. Oh yeah, I, I see that big old Would you axe. Like me you to demonstrate for you, my good sir. Uh, Go fetch me a, 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 a criminal, and I will perform an execution here. I I like your enthusiasm. I love your enthusiasm. Uh, maybe we, we we don't do that just yet. I mean, it is first thing in the morning. Uh, tell you what, we will uh we will bring you back into the dressing room, into the office. We'll we'll get you all set up. Uh. Remember, I, I, I'm your manager, and uh, yes, we'll, we'll go ahead and get uh, everything uh, in order. Um, yeah, let's go. And he begins uh, walking towards the Coliseum. Uh, now we'll go to uh, Cecilia and uh, Woodrow. Y'all wake up about the same time. It's funny, Cecilia sleeps with her eyes open. <laughs> so it literally looks like she's just sitting there watching her potions, but she's like, oh, okay, we're going. <laughs> That's fucking creepy. <laughs> uh, can you at least blink when you're around me just a little bit, please? Shit. <laughs> I'd rather have you not do that. All right. She she winks with, with the allure of of a a, a corpse. <laughs> you have my soul. Please don't wink at me. This is not going to work. <laughs> oh, and then like. <laughs> some reason i just picture her like having like full control over like her eyelids to where like she can like do like the lazy wink like where one blinks and then the other <laughs> <laughs> lady get home let's go <laughs> oh, <my> God, <laughs> mm -hmm. and she follows all right mm. that is i'm going don't you... drink the merchandise it's too late when they drink all of them you hear a loud burp come from downstairs. But bye, dear. We'll, we'll open up the shop in a couple of hours. Yeah, please replace the merchandise. How does that blue potion affect women? Because I saw her guzzling. <laughs> uh, she. Well, you know, we we will find out later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're you walking down the street. It is a dirty, uh, dirty town. Like people are pigs when when it comes to uh, carnivals and festivals and such for this city. And they just There's a drop things. Gold tax. Yeah, uh, they they drop everything everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's it's a mess. You see a few. People like on the on the side of the road, like sleeping off hangovers and and like just waking up. There's some people walking around, uh, trying to sell like hangover food and and uh, fresh baked honey buns. But yeah. you make your way to the Colosseum, uh, crossing the bridge and make your way over. You get there just in time to see Sir Bovine. Uh, talking to Jerry, and he's walking towards. 
Oh, it's you! See, this is this is what I'm talking about. They, see, those. The, where's the fourth? Still not. Oh yes, there was there was another. It was short. Was it an ankle biter? She says, looking at Gramps. I I uh, I mean the he mis the miscreant. He he just he just told me he worked alone. Uh, are you? Are you interested in the games? No, oh, so so you kiss and leave. I see how it is. It was New Year's. That's what we do on New Year's. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's not what they do on New Year's. Uh, that's not what they do. I know, I know. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Crete. Uh, you wake up uh, on the hard mat, and. Uh, the the patron walks into your room and says, "Are you ready to prove yourself, child?" I grab my stuff and I grab bonk and my shield, and I put on my chainmail. Ready. I, I think she wants you to get under the desk. I'm afraid I will not be the one testing you. Your test will come at the Colosseum. We need you to head there immediately. Uh, you will re be representing Cord. Uh, there is a man there uh, named Jerry. He will he will take you on as his compatriot. Did we all get a card, or did he just hand one of us a card last night? He did give you his card in with the alms. That he gave you. Card and I'm like, I know him. He's oh, a top card. Cord top be card. praised. It's it's destiny. You you are obviously meant to do this for us. I hold up the card. I'm like, Jerry, Jerry. Yes. Jerry. Oh, oh, wait. Jerry. Oh, hold hold on. He 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 holds up his hand. This is Jerry Marcel. Uh, how may I help you? I come now. Um, who? And he puts the card back into his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Pie uh, not baked. Fruit not okay. baked. <laughs> okay, as you as you uh, walk outside, you see what they saw before. Uh, a bunch of people on the ground, uh, especially in front of the uh, Temple of Cord. Uh, which is, oddly enough, right across the street from the Colosseum. You see the people you saw last night, all standing around in a circle. Uh, Sir Bovine, Cecilia, Gramps. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that was you! Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The, the gang is all he... Listen, Sir Sir Bovine, uh, let me talk. Um, would you be interested in joining a a group? Uh, I, I'm just saying this because the prize money is a lot. Uh, it, it's it's a lot. I, I mean, you you get you get a lot more like being in a group rather than uh um being alone. Uh, I don't well. Will they be my followers? My my entourage, if you will. I'm, I mean, uh, do you want to be the leader of the group? Well, I mean, I'm a dragonborn, and a red dragonborn at that. I, I, you know, I am. Leadership is in my blood. He, he kind of turns to the rest of you. What do y'all think? I am an independent woman who needs no dragonborn. I incite the red dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an insight. <laughs> I think I did. I'm not, I'm not sure what he's inciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean. I didn't see it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Oh, I think I have to do this. Hold on, let me. Oh, oh. there we go. Now we got it. He oh, failed. okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Sir Bovine, you can you can tell him what you want to. <laughs> so, so, are you royalty? Um, there is some descendancy from, not necessarily royalty, noble blood though. Yeah, okay. I... I don't believe you. 
<laughs> you choose not to believe him. <laughs> Cecilia, you know. <laughs> Sir Bovine, roll a persuasion or a deception. Uh, I'll... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's royalty. <laughs> he's he's a noble position. He's he's used to being leader. <laughs> I'm used to people oh, doing what I tell them. <laughs> yeah, no, Celia is very much a cat. It's like, mm, but would this be fun if I do this? <laughs> so I do have to say, Cecilia, her eyes. When she's away from you, you know how, like, people have, like, those dark brown eyes to where you're, like, oh, like, and they look black, and you're, like, oh, her eyes are just dark brown. But, like, the closer you get, you can't tell the difference between Iris and people with her. <laughs> like my dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wonderful. What, what, uh, so, I guess you can name the group? Oh, me? Of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, bovine yes, yes. and the miscreants. Sir, Sir, no. Sir Bovine and the miscreants. Um, I mean, turn around and start walking away. No, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, okay, hold I, on, hold on. We can, we can come to some kind of agreement on this. I mean, it, it's got to be catchy. Uh, uh, some, some good... Uh, mm, uh, he 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 begins like maybe what, maybe miss, miss what did you call those creatures that we uh we slaughtered last night? You you want to be compared to a skulk? The skulk killers. Sk sk skulk killers? What uh, what, what is it? What great name. what is a skulk? That's uh, the thing you so witnessed us kill yesterday. <gasps> Oh, that, that, in that, oh, gosh, I, I mean, that was a ugly, I mean, it, it was a gangly looking creature, I, I guess, uh, the skulk killers, but I, I don't think it's, a, it's a very wide known thing. How about the Olden killers? The, 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 the Ur urban killers? The Olden. Uh, the old the urban killers? Olden killers. I, I, I feel, I feel like there's a, a, a mix up and translation between my voice and your brain. <laughs> yes, you, you need to speak common. Uh, we 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 haven't we haven't heard from uh, 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 this young uh, this little guy and and this uh, older gentleman. Uh, what what do y'all think? I'm servants of court. I'm gonna be quite honest with you, sir. So I'm literally just here because I have to be. He's just joking. He wants to be here. Straight face, I'm not blinking. Looking him dead in the face. No. Just He's joking, and this is like the moment where like Cecilia forgets to blink. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls an inside, and it's like. Ah, very funny. Very, very funny. <laughs> The mouth of words help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are hilarious. They should call y'all the comedians, the jesters. <laughs> yeah, again, he's. Progress. <laughs> I mean. He's just like staring at the Coliseum, kind of in Marvel. He's like. He's, he's never it's, seen a, a place quite like this before. It, it's, it's quite huge. And, uh, yeah, there are pe it's like a stadium. Uh, people are he's, coming he's, and he's going. eating funnel cakes. Mm -hmm. He's like, what is that? Yeah. Food. I mean, there, there's people eating popcorn. There's turkey leg. There's... Uh, sausage on a stick that uh people are selling like uh like uh uh different uh different banners to different uh groups that have fought in the coliseum that i ha haven't is thought of any, yet uh, is there any tra travelers uh swag Traveler swag? Oh, of course! Mm. Like all the gods are represented. There, there's cord, being that there, there is a, a, a cord temple. There's, uh, there's the mm -hmm. traveler, uh, 
Buhamid. The big one is Paylor. Like, everybody is into Paylor. That's what all those sun brooches were. Uh, like, everybody is, like, really into Paylor. And uh, the major group... Uh, that I was into someone named Paylor, like <laughs> the six ma- inches. The major group that they celebrate, and you you've been hearing it like all over town, is uh, the 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 Sun Boys. That basically like a boy band only for the Coliseum, and they just sort of fight in the Coliseum, and they, yeah, they're called the the Sun Boys. All right, Cal, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make a religion check. Okay. About all of these various uh, gods and their relationship to Kord. Did it, did it go? For, right? for, oh. Yeah, for, for, for a religious kobold, you rolled a two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard of these gods before. Uh, you, you know about dragons, and you, you kind of just started knowing about Kord. You don't know about too many other gods. I mean, I don't know. Let, let's put that in perspective. How long have I been traveling? Uh, well, you uh, you traveled all the way from uh, Zendar to Bovi. Bo- Bovi being uh, on the edge of the swamp uh, of of uh, Blarin. And uh, yeah, you, you you're like right on the edge. Let's say you've been traveling for about two years. We'll say two years to be safe. Okay. So I've, been, I've been hitting up you know all the cord temples as I go. And... Yeah, uh, your you, your your knowledge about cord is that uh, he is he is a neutral god all about uh, battle. Like he 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 likes hey, his. Yeah, chaotic neutral. Uh, he he prefers that you be strong in a fight, and he really likes it that when you start uh, battling for uh, for his approval. Okay. So Crete's buying a turkey leg. Uh, that you see a young woman selling them. Uh, she's like. Okay, that will that will be a, a silver piece, sir. Okay, so he pays his silver piece. He's like, "What called? What is?" Uh, that he smells it, sniffs at it. Thanks, D. <laughs> that will that will be um that that is a uh, turkey leg. Uh, it's uh, poultry. Uh, I I I don't know anybody that doesn't know what a turkey leg is. He sniffs it again and takes a bite, and his eyes light up. Oh, it is. Like, mm, he oh, hold, hold, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta roll for performance on her part. Um, it's a little crispy. It's a, uh, it's, 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 it's like the more you bite into it, it's really crispy. It's sort of charred on the outside. Um, but when you, when you bite into it, like you get to the meat part of it, it it's like a very very dry turkey leg, but it's still delicious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he's not used to great food. Yeah. Know? Yeah, but the thing is, do you know how hard it is to make dark meat of a turkey dry? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, eats it and enjoys it. <laughs> you, you, you imagine that this was kind of left over from yesterday, <laughs> like it was sitting on the oven all night. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's meat. <laughs> it's cooked meat at that. So you know, he's into it. Great guys, uh, come with me. Uh, we will get the paperwork started. Uh, be thinking about Yay. a name. Uh, we can. Yay. What? Jay. Yes. Have you tried turkey Cre- leg? Oh yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah I, I, he 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 like <laughs> like I uh, he, he tries to uh, motion his hands to push the turkey away from his face. He's like, uh, yeah yeah I've I've had turkey leg before. Uh, Oh gosh! Don't put it near. Uh, it's it's fine. Yeah, it's delicious. Getting all up in there. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no! I don't want to 
take a bite. Stop. Uh, creep. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, uh. It's good. <laughs> he takes another bite. He's like, on his off with it, following his route to wherever he's supposed to be going to prove his might to Cord. So, uh, yeah, they, they, he leads you into a, a narrow corridor on the side of the building. Uh, brings you up to sort of a welcome counter and says, I got a new group for you, uh, Sir Ball 3. <laughs> group name, he says. Sculpt Killers. What the hell is a skulk? Oh, I, I don't... We killed. I don't care. I'll just... <laughs> why I said um, we should probably not use that one. Well, you can you can change your name in a week. Uh, I, I mean, we, we don't care. We I mean, you'll probably die in the first round anyway. Be good luck. Posh. Posh. <laughs> you know who I am, good sir. He's good loosely. Hold on, he, he he looks at you. Don't promise a girl a good time. As she like just kinda like walks over to the <laughs> <laughs> uh, No. And if you're with this this guy, he probably ain't much either. Uh, skulk killer. Alright, more more cannon fodder. Cannons? No one said anything about cannons. Is a figure of speech. Uh, are you sure about this, Jerry? Yes, I I saw the, I saw them do wondrous things last night. They will be fantastic. The skull killers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jolly good. He he high fives Sir Bovine. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the, uh, this this one here is Sir Bovine. He's nobility. Uh, this uh, this this little lady right here is Cecilia. She she is quite lovely. Uh, this this one over here, uh, the small one is Crete, and uh, this older gentleman here is Woodrow. Uh, they should be quite wonderful for the crowd. <laughs> I creep. just throw my body into the pits. Oh, remember your hips, land gently. What'd you say, Crete? I Crete. Yes. Genuine, gen, genuine article here. He looks over the over the group and is like, eh, whatever. Do you, do you got admission fee? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, we yeah, uh, we do. Uh, um, it's it's gonna be uh, t uh two gold per person. He he no. looks at all y'all. I hand over two gold for me and two gold for uh, Gramps. No, he's getting all copper. <laughs> he's that old man. He's like, hold on a minute. I got to change. <laughs> he pulls out two gold. I thought the manager of the pod is supposed to be doing this. This seems like remedial work for the leader. Roll. I love the accent. Go, go, go ahead and ro roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, he's I have a, he's I have like an per, uh, disorder. It's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, okay, sir Bovine. Yes, yeah, so you are the leader. I am the manager. I can only pay for. I can only pay for you, though. Uh, uh, here, here, here's, here's, here's uh, two, two gold. So yeah, he he. Gives up eight gold. Uh, all all eight gold is in front. Uh, oh, so he pays. Yeah, <laughs> he does because of the persuasion. Yeah, well, shit. Let me put it back. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, <sighs> I hope I get a lot of money from this girl. <laughs> hey. As like Cecilia, like pinches his cheek. 
Uh, Crete looks up at him. He, 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 he turns, he turns red, like, when you pinch his cheek, and like, uh, okay, um, let's, let's go to the dressing room, and we shall prepare for the battle. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so excited. That woman will steal your soul, and not in a good way. I suggest you don't show any emotion. Or do. You, Woodrow, are hilarious. I, I mean, you're going to be quite the riot out there in the middle of the Coliseum. Oh, man. Okay. I eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he leads you deeper into the Coliseum, uh, into the dressing room, and uh, he offers costumes for you. Of course, uh, this w would be the time you can kind of improvise what you want to wear as your costume. Oh, we have to pick costumes now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. So, Ooh, I'm so... I'm like Tetris. Crete stands there holding his no! club and his, his barrel top shield that he has that looks like it's taken quite the beating over the line. For Cecilia's costume, <laughs> she is going to use her dread form. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he... I go out looking like a red dragonborn in chainmail with a great axe. Ah, yeah. That, wonderful. I, gotta... I just walk out in the same clothes with some daggers. Uh, if I'm gonna die, I might as well die comfortable. <laughs> yeah, Crete, Crete, uh, Crete gives no shits about costume. He's just so, so the only one that's going out looking any different is <laughs> So hey, I mean, this is one way she could get away with, but it's all just an act, darling. It's my costume. You get dressed. And uh, you, in your room, there is a seeing stone, and you're able to see the uh, middle of the arena, like, real time. And you see the Sun Boys uh, fighting off one of the most deadly monsters, uh, a uh, an adult Kruthic, uh, and y'all can... It's uh, a creature with razor sharp uh, appendages and uh, a large mouth. It's it's uh, it it's it has sharp teeth and two tusks that come up in hook like forms on the bottom of its jaw. Its tongue comes out like a little snake. Uh, uh, in in the back of his mouth, he has black dull eyes and uh, whiskers coming off of his back, uh, a, a sort of chitinous uh, uh, back with hairs coming out of it. Uh, he has uh, six legs and a tail that slithers behind him with that comes to a sharp point. Uh, but the sun boys move around him and they begin sort of posing like you have no you have no power over Pelor Pelorians and you hear cheers like go across the crowd Pelor Pelor we love you son boys and yeah they they're just like cheering for them and sure enough they're dodging every hit and they're doing it like in a dance move esque style like they're dancing around him and they're like stabbing it every so often and it's just eventually like it goes underground and comes back up in a different place uh, the leader seems to kick it in the side of the head as it comes back up and stab it in its throat uh, the, the thing is on its last legs and they, they all just gather around and do their signature moves uh, spin move and stab and then they just sort of moonwalk away Pelor. <laughs> what the hell did you get me into Cecilia Hayes? Did anyone 
something else throw up in their mouth a little bit. <laughs> my eyes threw up and I don't know how that happened. Okay. Sorry, I was uh looking at myself in the, the reflection of my axe. I'm looking <laughs> good today. No, what he's considered. Yeah. Crete just makes a <laughs> sound. Like like as if to be like you know, they're not so great. I just saw a group of people dance and whoop somebody's ass. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, I'm I'm a little confused myself. I thought we were here to, you know. Am I supposed to? I have a bad hip, Cecilia. Uh, are, are we supposed to do like a boy band thing while fighting creatures? I, um, well, I mean, that's that's how they get the crowd. I mean, you do whatever the hell you want to. All you have to do is destroy the monster. I, I mean, it's it, it's up to you what what y'all prefer to do. I, uh, but uh, yeah, some people like to do the positive influence, and uh, others like to do the negative influence. If it, if you go the negative route, you can be like the people, the guys that people love to hate. You know, like, um, oh, uh, what, what's his name? Way, way back when, he was a really bad guy. Uh, he, he tries to remember... Uh, Manu, yeah, yeah, Manu, the, 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 the fucking guy, um, yeah, he, he's, uh, uh, he, he's one of the guys that you love to hate, so maybe you could be like that. I'm, I'm more of an Etcher fan, I'm kind of just here. I'm more of an Etcher fan, I'm just kind of here. Oh, Etcher, yeah, he, he was really great, he, uh, the guy that did Bahamut, yeah. You could be like a Bahamut backer. Take mm. Bahamut. Let's let's rephrase our words. I mean, I heard he can turn into a dragon. He might have. I I mean, did he do Bahamut? Uh, what, uh, oh oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you see how that kind of. Uh, not for my history. I I don't remember any of uh, of that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a little pucker going <laughs> to. <laughs> It's not the size of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and show you the arena. That way you get familiar with it. Ooh. It looks like an arena. Yes. It is a battle map. I recognize this battle map. I did use it in my last campaign. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, you are... Uh, you are about to go on. Uh, the cheers begin to swell in the crowd. Uh, they they look at their they look at pages and they're just sort of like the skull killer. Like er everybody is just kind of confused, and uh, the announcer is even like, "We have newcomers today. Please welcome." Jerry's crew, the Skulk Killers, and you see people start leaving the arena as you begin entering. Actually, Cecilia is, so is he going to, like, name off our people? Uh, yes, uh, first we have, uh, Cecilia... And for Cecilia, I'll do minor illusion, and um, I'll kind of give her like I'll I'm going to play it up to where her persona is kind of like the the um the witch of the wilds who is there to help people kind of thing. So like she'll do mm. like a minor of illusion to kind of give her like the wild magic look and stuff like that when she steps out. Okay, uh, put your character out there and roll a uh, performance. This and, is going to be amazing because I think the curse of Illa is and still in effect. If you, if you don't have uh, proficiency, go ahead, roll with proficiency. Okay. <laughs> What's your proficiency? Uh, plus two. Plus two, so that's a nine. 
pe you you get some applause like uh, yay. See, you you get the sense that Jer Jerry Jerry kind of yeah. has a reputation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sir Bovine. What? Why did she get up to go out first? I'm the leader of this here party. <laughs> uh, it's just the way they were written down, man. Uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, Sir Sir Bovine, the leader. And again. Ah! <laughs> I hold up my axe and let's give a good battle roar. And because, like, he kind of told us, like, he's from, like, Xandar and all that, um, Cecilia will do, like, a minor of illusion of, like, a red dragon behind him roaring out flames when he lifts up his axe and roars. Okay, uh, add, you, you, what is your, your proficiency is plus two, right? Yeah, yes. so ten. Okay, so ten. People are like, oh, okay, and they they begin clapping a little bit too, like, oh, all right. I mean, they have something. Uh, Woodrow. Well, you like I'm just gonna tip my hat and start playing my harmonica. I kind of give him like the um, Louisiana, like, um... yeah. Uh, uh, roll a uh, roll a performance check, and y y uh, yeah, you you will you already have your proficiency in that, I assume. I got a net one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but yeah. it's it's still an eight. Yeah. I mean, it's two, so a ten. So you you start playing your harmonica. You play two, three notes. And then stop, and then just continue walking out there, exactly. and, and and people are just looking at each other, confused, like, and finally Crete. And so, Crete, with his voice booming across the stadium, and probably hear it outside the stadium. Yeah. With, with tremors going on in the ground. Earthquake in the goes <laughs> for cord. And uh, Cecilia is going to, again, minor illusion, and there's going to be storm clouds above him, like, doing, like, lightning blasts to the ground. Wonderful. I uh, roll a performance check, and uh, your proficiency is plus two. Once you get a net 20, I'll be pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that will be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so plus two uh, is an eighteen. Uh, the crowd, the crowd begins to cheer uh, wildly. Like they, they are like, "Oh, it's another court guy! Oh yes, yes!" <laughs> and they start cheering, and they're like, "It's it's Kobo, but yes." <laughs> <laughs> Yes! You hear, like, uh, cheers go throughout the crowd. They're all excited because of this new development. Let, let, let's put y'all all together, shall we? Keep, I mean, bear keep... in mind, he is standing there in just gear that just looks like absolute crap. <laughs> you know, I mean, but, yeah, still, like, that entrance would, like, rouse the crowd. Everybody knows about Cord in this town. I mean, especially, like, because, I mean, most of y'all need to prove yourselves, so you prove yourselves in the arena, and a lot of y'all are pretty good. They're, they're all cheering, and then you hear drums. Today, they will be fighting the Allosaurus! And you see, as this large beast comes out from behind a large black door and looks around. It, it is a dinosaur, a T-Rex looking thing that is, okay, a, it's a predatory dinosaur with great size, strength, and speed. It can run down almost most prey upon ground pouncing to pull creatures down with its wicked claws it is I peed a little bit it, it is large and it just poof, 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 and then Jurassic Park 
I'd like to play the <laughs> and the park is closed. <laughs> that's where we'll end our session for the evening. So you all level. Uh, you you will you will be level three when you fight this Allosaurus. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, do we have any closing statements for our YouTube fam? Um, I actually chose a uh, mother's look. She's the Angelina Jolie Maleficent kind of looking person, and she is. Hold on. Okay, so uh, yeah, Angelina Jolie from uh, Sleeping Beauty uh, yeah. has has the horns going up, uh, curling, has the wings. And I feel like the wings are like part of her hag form, so like those don't come out until like a deal's being made or she's casting a spell kind of thing. Okay, but uh, she she still looks maleficent. But, like, I see it like she kind of disguised her wings as sort of like a cloak, like a illusionary kind of cloak kind of deal. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Cool. Okay, so uh, Maleficent, horns, cloak, black dress. Yes. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Sir Bovine, any last words? Bow and be appreciative of your superiors. <laughs> Remember, don't knock people out and do stuff afterwards. <laughs> Would you? Uh, remember that sometimes you need an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> and Crete. Don't eat too corn. <laughs> don't eat too corn. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Stay awesome.